So hello everyone, this is Easy Automation here and today we are going to create that one program which has been asked in my first ever interview and by watching the problem statement of that program, my brain got stuck but I don't want your brain to stuck in this situation. So that's why I am creating this program. So now let's start. So the problem statement of that program looks like this in which there is one tank and two pumps one is for water intake and another one is for water outlet and two level sensors one is high level sensor and another one is low level sensor which are used here for water level monitoring so now let's talk about the conditions on which this program should run so the first condition is whenever the water is present below low level sensor then our pump one or you can say the motor one should start filling the tank and as the water rises towards the high level sensor whenever it reaches the high level sensor the pump two or the motor two should start draining the water down and the most important condition here is whenever our tank is filling the draining motor or the draining pump should stop and whenever the draining pump is on the filling pump should stop so these are some conditions which our program should follow so now let's create the program so the program is very basic we need two rungs one is for upper motor and second one is for the lower motor and in first rung I will add one Yano contact, one ENC contact and in second rung as well I will add one Yano contact and one ENC contact and in both the rungs I will add two output coils like this and I will add one branch instruction here and here as well and put this Yano contact inside like this and I will add two more Yano contacts here like this so this is how our program will look like so now let's give the address I will name Name this you know, contact as low level sensor LLS and for the CNC contact I will name it as high level sensor and for the outputs I will give the address and name our first output as motor 1 and for second output I will name it as motor 2 and I will just copy this low level sensor address to our NC contact of the second rung and this high level sensors address to our you know, contact of second rung and to create the holding I will just copy this motor 1 address to our you know, contact and I will do the same process for our second motor as well and now our program is ready to be tested so now let's verify this program verified no errors found now let's go download this program so now our program is in ideal condition which means our both motors are off here and now let's consider our first condition where our water is below the low level sensor so whenever the water goes below the low level sensor the low level sensor gives this signal and our motor one will start here and as the water rises and comes in front of low level sensor the low level sensor will stop sending the signal but still our first motor is on and water is rising because I have created one holding here so that's why our motor is getting supply from this motor holding from this high level sensor to our motor and as the water rises towards the high level sensor and reaches the high level sensor the high level sensor will send the signal and our first motor will get stopped here and our second second motor which is for our water draining will start here and as the water is getting drained out the water level will go below the high level sensor and the high level sensor will stop sending the signal but our motor 2 is still on because I have created one holding here which is going to give the supply to our motor 2 and as the water level is going below the low level sensor the low level sensor will activate again and our second motor will stop here and our first motor will start again filling the water. So this this was the idea behind the tank level program so I hope you got the point and took the notes but I have one bonus idea for you which is about the manual operation of the tank filling so now I will just go offline and to create this whole program manually operating like you can operate your first motor and second motor by manual operations like whenever you want to fill the water you can turn on the motor one and whenever you want to drain the water you can bypass the sensors and drain the water as much as you want and to create that condition we need one branch instruction here and we need to put this low level sensor inside it and this motor holding is also inside this one and this low level sensor will also go inside the branch and we need one another no contact for this branch and we need to copy this procedure for our second rung as well so now that I have created both rungs similar for our manual operation let's give the addresses so for this no contact I have named it as manual fill and for this no contact I will just give the address and name it as 
as manual drain. So whenever the operator wants the tank to be filled manually, then he will operate this button and whenever he wants to drain the water manually, then he will just toggle this switch on. But I think there is one problem in this program, which is whenever I toggle this manual operation, our motor will start and which will hold this motor here. And if I want to stop the motor by this manual switch, I can't stop the motor because it will get holded here and give the supply to the motor. So to break this hold here, I will just add one NO contact here and here as well and just copy this address to these NO contacts. So now our program is correct. And now let's check the manual operation here. So whenever the operator wants to fill the tank, he will just toggle this bit high with any push button or switch. And as the water reaches to desired level, then operator will toggle this bit low and the motor will get stopped. And whenever he want to drain the water, he will just toggle this manual drain button and our motor 2 or the pump 2 will start here, which will drain the water out. And whenever the water is drained, as per the operator needs, he will just toggle this bit low and our pump 2 will stop here. And whenever he wants to operate the system on auto mode, he will just use the high level sensor and low level sensors feedback for our motors to operate in automatic mode. So this is all about the tank filling program. I hope you got the point and took the notes. And if you didn't got any point, feel free to ask in the comment section. And if you learned something new, go hit that like button and subscribe if you are interested in automation and share this video to your friends and colleagues. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Till then, check out my previous videos and try to solve this program. I will see you in the next video. Bye.